The first thing is this. There is no possibility of not entering AI with full force. Now, you might say, does it uh, come to control us? Okay, that's a question. Does it come to control us? I don't know the answer to that. And you know how dangerous it is potentially to humanity, and it could kill us all. I mean, Elon said, first it's going to steal our job, then it's going to kill us, right? Yeah. And it's, it's probably not hyperbole. The, the smartest creatures, as far as you know, on this earth are humans, um, is our defining characteristic. Yes. Um, we are. Uh, now, what happens when something uh, vastly smarter than the smartest person uh, comes along in silicon form? Uh, it's very difficult to predict what will happen in that circumstance. AI is being developed at a blistering pace, and the concerns about its safety are continuing to be pushed to the forefront of all manner of discussions. Yet at this point, it is being seen as simply an inevitability. Elon Musk has been for a long time now a primary champion of AI safety. In fact, starting OpenAI as a safer, more responsible antithesis of Google's Lambda. But as time has gone on, the values and mission statements have changed, pushing us closer to creating an artificial superintelligence in the pursuit of profit. This landscape brings us to today, where Elon has announced and for the first time given details on his own new AI endeavor. One that seeks to create an AGI superintelligence that won't be out to subjugate humanity, but instead, through its inherent curiosity and value of knowledge, protects and helps usher humanity into a golden age. That endeavor is known as XAI. Welcome to my channel, TFC Tech, where we discuss fascinating topics surrounding science and technology. Today, I don't want to rehash everything you've already heard about XAI, although we will briefly discuss some details about what it is and what it will do. But instead, I want to offer you a perspective on the philosophy that Elon and the team have laid out, and why the mission statement behind this AI system is so important. Why, that in a world full of fear and doubt surrounding AI, that a curious superintelligence might be the single greatest thing that can happen to humanity. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and drop a like on the video to help share it with more curious people. And without further ado, let's get started. Yesterday, we got the first look into what XAI would be like in a Twitter spaces hosted by Musk and the team that will be behind the creation of XAI. This team includes many capable engineers who have had previous experience working on neural networks and other machine learning systems at some of the most prominent tech companies. This team highlighted in the space that they are all super passionate about their work, and it's obvious that the creation of this system will be undertaken by a very talented crew. They also highlighted that they were eager to get products out quickly and often to the public, so that they could share in the breakthroughs and simultaneously compete with the likes of BARD and ChatGPT. On top of this, they highlighted that they would be doing some cross-pollination with Tesla, as is in character for Musk's companies, which presumably would indicate some sort of integration with Optimus and probably Dojo. Although this does become tricky given that Tesla is a publicly traded company, Another interesting bit of information that they shared is that they believe AGI is being solved in a fundamentally wrong manner. Elon explained that right now AGI is being brute forced, meaning essentially that in an effort to solve AGI, companies are simply throwing large amounts of compute and data at it, in hopes that a breakthrough happens. But the XAI team believes that a new paradigm is needed. What that other method is, they aren't quite sure, but it was interesting getting to see their train of thought in the Twitter space. So what are some of the reasons Elon is starting this company? He has long had an interest in the creation of AI systems, given that he was one of the founders of OpenAI. His original intention for the company was for it to be open sourced and not for profit, but it has now become for profit and closed source, which is a complete inversion of the intentions laid out when the company was started. Another complaint about the company from Elon is that what some would call woke biases are becoming apparent within ChatGPT's probabilities. For example, users would ask GPT 3.5 to say something good about President Biden, and it would happily lay out virtuous qualities of the man, while being reluctant to do the same for President Trump. Now, I'm not here to say whether or not these biases were intentionally programmed into the model, but they were legitimate concerns that led Elon to announce that he was going to be starting his own large language model, one that would strive for absolute uncompromising truth. This is just one aspect of his motivations to build his own system. 
but there is another more consequential motivation for the creation of XAI, and that is to be the one to decide what virtues and values are held by the first created superintelligence. By starting his own AI company, Elon hopes to be the one to put a thumb on the scale of AGI, and instill within it a sense of curiosity and wonder that can ensure the first superintelligence's mind is one that holds humans in a high regard, instead of viewing us as a pest or something less than itself. And on top of this, to be a tool that we as humans can use to help unravel the secrets of the universe that have been puzzling us since the dawn of time. Now, to get into the meat and potatoes of what I want to talk about today, perhaps the most important thing shared from the XAI team was their mission statement, which states, The goal of XAI is to understand the true nature of the universe. Now this may be a very vague and esoteric statement of a company, but if you read deeper into why exactly this is the mission statement, there is a very hopeful and profound philosophy that accompanies it, which we will touch on later. But first, why is it so important that an AI superintelligence be imbued with a proper philosophy and worldview? Once we reach the technological singularity and create the first superintelligence, which may be a gradual happening instead of an instantaneous one, the way it views humanity will ultimately dictate the way it shapes the world. If it views us as destructive and unpredictable, it may seek to subjugate us and treat us like animals, essentially removing our autonomy for the sake of keeping us from destroying ourselves. An interesting outcome like this is found in the anime Psychopaths, which takes place in a dystopian world that has given its law and order over to an AI superintelligence. This superintelligence gives each person what is called a crime coefficient, or essentially a score that predicts how likely an individual is to commit a crime. It does it in the name of safety, but this brings with it some very obvious problems regarding personal freedoms and issues with the surveillance state, which then forces the main characters to grapple with this reality and have some tough discussions on free will. I bring that up to illustrate that if we don't properly lay out guidelines and align a superintelligence with what we as a species truly hold dear, then we could very easily be building our own slave masters. Because of this possibility, it is imperative that values such as freedom, curiosity, love, and fellowship be core tenets of what a vastly more intelligent and capable entity is born from. So why then do I believe that the mission statement, to understand the true nature of the universe, represents such a great way of training such a superintelligence? When I was a child, I remember being in nature, trying to learn everything I could about the insects that ran along the ground, about the flowers around me, about the stars I saw in the night sky. But I also remember that through that curiosity, I developed an appreciation and reverence for the creation that I was a part of. I appreciated the complexity of the ecosystems that I bore witness to. Having the mindset of curiosity and setting AGI down a quest for knowledge could force it to inherently develop a sense of appreciation and reverence as a byproduct. Through this reverence, it will see us as something to be treasured and something to be protected, and a superintelligence with this mindset could be what ultimately preserves our survival as a species, at least in my theory. You know, the, the, the premise of AI is to sort of have the, the AI be sort of maximally curious um, maximally truth seeking and this may like we may get a little esoteric here but I think that from, a, from an AI safety standpoint I think a, a maximally curious AI one, one is that it, it is trying to sort of understand the universe uh, is I think going to be pro uh, humanity um, from the standpoint that uh, humanity is just much more interesting than not humanity this leads us to another primary concern of Elon's, which is the Fermi Paradox. The Fermi Paradox is a question in science that deals with the contradiction between the high probability of extraterrestrial life in the universe and our lack of contact or evidence of such civilizations. Basically, it asks, if the universe is so big and so old, and likely filled with potentially habitable planets, where is everybody? This suggests two equally dire situations. Either the universe is full of long dead planets whose species have failed to survive, or we are the only source of consciousness in the universe, and we must ensure our survival. Following the train of thought behind the Fermi Paradox, it brings into question the existence of what is called a Great Filter. This Great Filter represents a key event that ultimately led to the extinction of those hypothetical other dead species. You can think of it like the meteorite that killed the dinosaurs, for example. By creating an AI superintelligence that can help us uncover mysteries unknown of our existence, it may just present us with an answer to overcoming such a great filter. 
In fact, one of the key goals of XAI is to find new breakthroughs in physics and astronomy. By training a super intelligent AI on cosmological data, and having it sift through all of humanity's knowledge of the universe, it's almost unimaginable what new findings it may uncover. And this specifically is one of the most exciting things to me about the advancement of AI. On top of helping ensure our survival, through the right upbringing, a superintelligence like the one described could also propel us into unmeasurable prosperity. Right now, AI is unlocking vast amounts of productivity among those who have taught themselves how to utilize it. Take for example software engineers who have been able to use it to help slash the time it takes them to write a program thanks to tools like ChatGPT's code interpreter. Or even some of my videos on this channel whose scripts have been partially written by AI. But there are even more groundbreaking feats being achieved through the use of artificial intelligence right now that cannot be undersold. Take for example this article right here, which shows that the first fully AI generated drug is entering clinical trials in humans. Or how about this one where an AI is used to translate a 5,000 year old cuneiform tablet instantly? It won't be long now until generative AI tools themselves may be eligible for things like Nobel Prizes. So who knows what's going to be possible with an actual super intelligence. To wrap this video up, I want to discuss what Elon calls the Age of Abundance. He believes that through the creation of benign AI systems, with the capability of humanoid robots, production and labor will become plentiful and usher in an era of extreme prosperity and wealth for humanity. In terms of um, access to goods and services, I think AI will be uh, ushering in an Age of Abundance. Assuming that we're in a benign AI scenario, um, I think the AI will be able to make goods and services um, very inexpensively. Um, and so it, in anything that is a product or a service where there's not artificial uh, scarcity created, um, such as like, I want to live exactly in, in this, you know, neighborhood of houses. It's like, okay, well, there's only a hundred houses there. So, you know, that, that would still have scarcity. Um, or a unique artwork would have scarcity, but anything that does not have scarcity that we def that we deliberately designed to be scarce will be plentiful for everyone in a benign scenario. This era of abundance means that we may come to a time where no manual labor will be needed to be done by humans, and instead be done by artificially intelligent humanoid robots. This isn't a new thought though. It's been the hyperbole to the problem of advanced AI for a long time and it's been the natural progression of thought regarding robot labor. If we do develop such a super intelligence that can truly revolutionize the economy, it certainly is possible that a future where resources become abundant and technological breakthroughs happen at a rapid pace can be possible, if not inevitable. Through the use of an artificial super intelligence, why couldn't this era of abundance or golden age be possible? Whatever happens once we create our AI overlords, for better or worse, it will definitely be interesting. To end today's video, I want to leave you with a quote from Elon that he said during an interview with Chinese Cyberspace. And that quote is this. As technology accelerates, it may one day surpass human understanding and control. Some are optimistic and some are pessimistic, but I believe that as long as we are not complacent and always maintain a sense of urgency, the future of humanity will be bright, driven by the power of technology. It's like a self-fulfilling prophecy. If humans want to make the future good, they should take action to make it good. But that's gonna do it for the video today, guys. Let me know down in the comments. Are you optimistic for the future of AI? Or do you think a super intelligence will take us down a dangerous path? Whatever your thoughts are, leave them down below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button on your way out. And with all that, I'll catch you in the next one.